Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Yo! <laughs> hey! hey. Come right in the day up, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, a clap Man, we really got it going. It was a real fuck it moment. We yeah. have an audience fave back today, Vincent Marcus. You're right, mate. Oh, you yeah. fucker. <laughs> Nuke the Roos, you By came way, on. Was, you know we were with a kangaroo yesterday, right? No shit. Yeah. Evan and I were with a baby female kangaroo. No, I saw on Instagram who, was a, who took a picture of it. Like, it was you, right? Yeah. yeah, well, it's mm. thank you, sir. Is that a piping hot cup of Black Rifle coffee there? Look oh, at that. Oh, that looks nice. delicious. Look that. Piping. It's steaming. Yeah. Piping. Actually, it's it is steaming. steaming. You can probably pick that up there on the wide right there. Yeah, Both of there it is. Switch that wide for the video steaming show. Steaming hot cups. Perfect 103 of degrees. Our new organic coffee. Actually. 203 degrees. Yeah. How many it, degrees look, is drink it? Drink and roast 20 gets you 20% off. Yeah. Do it as Ben Shapiro. Yeah. Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, we are uh, Ben Shapiro here at the Drink and Roast podcast. We are doing Black Rifle coffee. Um, America's favorite coffee company. If you're not on Black Rifle Company, uh, you just you're, you go fuck yourself. How's that? So, yeah. <laughs> I like it, dude. His his ads are so funny, dude. They're the <laughs> best. He's, fun- he's the best ad reader I've ever heard. He's just yeah. intense and in your face, and you're captivated by it. Like, that oh, that that you will. Need to get I will. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, right, I love, fine, I love I'll how get his, it. like his intros like are just like. Uh, CNN rips apart the magazine, and uh, I'm Ben Shapiro. This is Ben Shapiro show, and then he drop he like drops into his ads, and he goes he starts off his own little monologue, and then he goes, so money, you have problems with money, don't we all? Well, let's talk about it. Like he just like starts, <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird to me where it seems like he's reading it off the inside of his mind, totally, where he's not even looking <clears throat> outward. It's just yeah, all like, inward, d- 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 like Minority Report. Yeah. Like you're shifting things in your mind. You're like, yeah. is there a teleprompter? He has the latest Google Glass. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can't even see it. It's a contact. J- Juggle glass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Juggle yeah. glass. The only yeah. thing is you have to opt in for that large thing that they surgically put in your brainstem. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the chip. I'm really excited for how contacts could do that in the future. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. The Night vision. built inside PVS of them. PVS 91 alphas. Just, just yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing I thought was PVS 91 alphas. That's yeah. what right. I yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Some x-ray vision. Yeah. yeah. Use oh, an yeah. Instagram so I can shirt look at your I do have an Instagram shirt on yeah. today. You big fan of Instagram? Yeah, big fan. I like it. What if I told you I have that same exact shirt too? No, what sh- if no I lie. told you? Yeah. What if I told you, <laughs> Simba? Yeah, yeah, they brought us to a closet <laughs> in Instagram and just started throwing us stuff out yeah. of this throwing shit random out random closet. What yeah, is that place like for people who haven't been there? It's uh, very futuristic, very very clean, very yes. like white glove. <laughs> Looking at there's no dust anywhere. It's beautiful. Very there's like a cafeteria, snacks. Um, there's a, a vending sets ma- to take selfies. Yeah, there's a vending machine that's free that if you just oh I forgot my phone charger you just push it and the yeah. tr- phone charger comes out. They Stop do it. have that. Yeah, the yeah. Well, that's how the whole Facebook yeah. campus is. And when we visited Instagram before, there was only like what 60 employees. They're like, you should have seen eight months ago there was 15. I'm like, no right. wonder no one can get fucking verified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, I've got a funny story about that. Like. Uh, last night it just came back. They were like, "Yeah, you need better press." I was like, "It was Forbes, Maxim, and Washington Post." What I submitted you, what's what's better right. than that? Did you get verified? Oh, verified. Wait, you're not yeah. verified yet? No, I'm oh, not. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're verified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan, but are they, you verified? But they just did it. No. I didn't have to submit oh. anything. Like, they just, well, <laughs> they just recognized greatness. No, no, no. Yeah. But when they <laughs> didn't, start, <laughs> didn't have to, didn't have to get on my knees and beg. For sure. When they started, well, no, because I didn't have my username, so I wrote in and I said, "Hey, man." Somebody's got my fucking thing or whatever, and I'm like, I'm the actor, and boom. Then they they did it for me, but I couldn't take back the username. So what's your username now? Is it is it Saint Saint James? Sh- yes, okay. because I didn't have a choice. Oh. Yours, you had to put underscores in it. Well, th- was it, is it Ross Patterson or Ross Fatterson? Which one did they switch oh that up? Oh my on? god! <laughs> well, the first time I got kicked back, I'm sorry. the first time I, I got it. kicked back because they like to complete the circle, so they went to my Facebook page, and the website listed on my Facebook page was Let's Do Gay Shit, so <laughs> dot com. That's right. So when they clicked on that, it went to a dead link, and they were like, it got rejected. Like, hey, you your your website? Yeah, a dead my website. So I had to fucking do a website. Did you build a, a website called I, Let's Do Gay Shit dot com? I've never built a site, but I own that, so I can have the email address. <laughs> I was thinking about it's doing true. it so I could I could put out newsletters from let's do gay shit dot com. I like that. And, and I mean, it would be like fun. MailChimp style. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, mass do. emails like, hey, who wants to come to Straight Dave's shirtless wrestling camp? Will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will host. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're verified. Yeah, and you have. I think you just crossed a half a million. Yeah, is that it? Million, yeah. Wow, That's crazy, dude! Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. That was fast too. Uh, yeah, was that? It was really. Was fast. that two years? Two two. F- 
60 something like three months ago. Wow. Yeah, because I had um, Did you get a big share or something? No, IGTV. Okay. IGTV really, really that's growing you. Yeah. Wow. Really? Because yeah. let me ask you, you were one of the guys who was massive on Vine. Yeah. When that shut down, you had to have been like, oh, fuck, what yeah, do I do it was, now? It was shitty. I was at 4 million followers on Vine, and then it transferred. O- I didn't transfer over my followers as well as I should have. I was like looking at the guys that were going like, hey, make sure to follow my Instagram. I thought those guys were like... like cheesy. Yeah, cheesy, right? But yeah. I, I, looking back, I was like, fuck, I should have gone down that road a little bit. Did but it just end one day? Yeah, they yeah. Were just. They, I just woke up, and there was an article, like Mashable or some shit. They were like, oh, uh, yeah, Vine's terminating as of... As like of 30 today. days. And like, did, somebody, yeah. did somebody buy them or what no. happened? So t- Vine was a company in and of itself, and then Twitter acquired it. They sold it to Twitter. And Got then it. I think, I don't know if Twitter just ran into the ground. I don't know what happened. I, here, here's what I heard would happen. So Twitter acquired Vine. Uh, they also had Periscope. Sure. And their stock was absolutely shitting the bed, and they were hemorrhaging money. They couldn't afford to keep both open, and they had bet on Periscope versus... Vine, Vine really? and then nuke. So they still own Periscope. Yeah. So Periscope is still on Periscope. Exactly. Yeah. Is anybody on Periscope? Because Periscope is essentially Instagram Live or Facebook Live. Well, sure. Periscope was first. Back was. then, you couldn't go live uh, on 100%. Facebook. You couldn't go There's live on Instagram. Meerkat. There's Meerkat also. Meerkat and you now yeah. and, and live. Yeah. There's yeah. Yeah. So, but, but that that was their bet. And sure. then in hindsight, it was fucking dumb. Yeah. Because Vine would have just continued. So would you, right? Yeah. You, you well, probably wouldn't have switched over to Instagram, right? Sure. But Vine was kind of on. Downward course towards the end. Anyway, we kind of were just like not even posting on Vine as much anymore. So there's like a kind of like a unanimous vibe within the community that was just because like, of the time st- structure of of six seconds or I don't. I think it was just. I mean, there was this whole thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but there was this huge meeting uh, that took place with Vine and like the top 25 creators of in Vine, and they basically said, "Hey, you're not doing enough for us. Pay us, or we walk." And Vine was like, "Well, here's a T-shirt. We'll delete the app." Yeah. yeah, so Vine, Vine pretty much said, "Burn here's, the here's house Here's a T-shirt, down. and then they just stopped posting, and wow. and they didn't. Re- they thought, "Oh, we'll continue. It'll be fine." But they didn't realize the top 25 people on Vine were responsible for like 75 percent of the traffic. So who were they? Do you remember? Um, King Botch. Well, there was like this whole group Cerny. at 1600 Vine. It was I don't know if you guys. Yeah, heard. of course. Yeah, so like, yeah. So I think it was. Uh, Ironically, sixteen hundred Vine. Yeah, I know Curtis Lepore, uh, Lele Pons. I don't. I, I don't remember the whole roster, right. but I do know Amanda that there was, was she on there? Cerny, yeah. that, that, that whole group started. Possibly back there. Amanda yeah. was there. I think maybe Batch. I don't really know the whole roster, um, but I do know that there was that meeting did exist. So it was like. I think that's a challenging part as a content creator influencers. You really never know when to allocate more time and resources to a new and up and coming platform. Because sure. I had that similar transition when it came to Instagram. We ran one through yeah. Article 15. I had massive, you know, apprehension to get my own personal one. I was like, "Fuck that!" I don't. Well, we want didn't even one. do it until yeah. 2016. Yeah, I was way late to what, the your game. Personal my one? Yeah, personal same one. With yeah, me. and I had, uh, okay. I had over a million on Facebook and over 500,000 on YouTube. And yeah. then I, finally, I was like, "I guess I'll start my own one." And now it's the the you know the medium I use the most. Sure. But it's like, how do you gauge it's going to be that massive of a success? It's hard. Yeah. Well, like, you, you kind of step back and look at it, right? So for me, looking at the new platforms that are coming out now, I look at Instagram TV, which is all vertical, right? For now. For now, right? Yeah. That, that, that can't last. Well, I think, I, th- I don't think it's going to last. I think they might. Do you know something that we don't know? Because no, you're being real know. fucking dodgy right now. No, no, no. I think. Th- what I th- I'm assuming that that's how it's going to be because vertical video I, I think is good in short form but long form when it comes to like major major motion picture and like oh just having a horizontal you video. can't squeeze yeah, three people can. in a shot and I and I think I don't think it, IGTV was doing that well so they must you know have to and but they're going to monetize it all right so they're they're gonna start sure, but that's the interesting thing now is because you can post on your your um, actual Instagram on your main feed. Yeah. And then now we'll trans- continue watching on IGTV, yep. but then it scales a vertical video into a scaled up, um, or horizontal vi- video into a scaled up vertical video, which sure. is weird. Yeah. Because then you, you're missing all the action for the yeah. most part. But yeah. And I, if you're that read into it, you think you would just be like, whoosh, turn it horizontal, at least have the optionality to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's maybe where they're headed. I'm not too sure, but I know that the vertical because like with apps like tiktok i don't know if you guys have ever fucked with i downloaded TikTok. it yeah. i fucked with it so yeah. so it you used did. to be, it used to be musically i don't know if you guys knew that yeah. like yep. I, sorry, I showed you that the lip syncing yeah. app yeah. or whatever ah, yes, yeah yes, and yes. it wasn't it, it was dog shit there was just a bunch of 14 year old hot uh 14 year old boys you know <laughs> yep. on the, yep. just like with their ab <laughs> showing and fucking yeah. with uh, fucking hair singing yeah, like, doing this to like bieber like i wanna grind you i'm like i would fucking rip this phone out of my kid's head yeah, hands, yes. yeah. throw it against the wall and then 
fucking start Yeah, spanking. exactly. So they were just thirst trapping teens on the app, and it wasn't a really good reputation or whatever. Thirst trapping. Thirst yeah, wow. but you know what? Stealing that term, Fuck. by the way. I like that. Yeah. Thirst trapping. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok, get I think, trapped. is spending the most money I've ever seen anybody spend on advertisements so, for their app. Who's this? Ever. TikTok. TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're yeah. everywhere. And it, so it musically turned into TikTok. TikTok, it rebranded into TikTok, and then... They reached out to me. They're like, hey, we want to rebrand this thing. We don't want it to be lip sync centric. We want it to be funny content. And it took a minute to get there, but I will go on record right now and saying that TikTok is the next Vine for sure. Like, wow. there's so. Uh, there's like Demi shit. Bagby said she's on TikTok and she's got about three and a half million. Yes, that's people. She's playing that more. So, what, what, is it 15 seconds? So, 10 it's 15 seconds. seconds to a minute. Okay. Right? But minute. it's like vertical comedy videos, right? Okay. And um, they have a. All the viral Twitter videos and everything I've seen, like on Instagram or whatever, is being shared. And you see the, the TikTok watermark on it. I don't know if you've probably seen like any yep. yes. like viral videos. You see like the TikTok watermark. That's that's how Vine used to be. Vines used to be out there, just viral. But now it's TikTok. How are they competing with Instagram then since it's such a similar format? They went uh, after a younger crowd. They're, they're yep. going Coke, Coke, Pepsi. And, and, yeah. and that's like, why they're doing the vertical video. Because the vertical video sits so well like it's so yeah, in the palm of your hand yeah so the, f they're, the the way they see it the future is vertical video because teenagers they're watching tiktok there's very young active audience of the first generation has actually grown up with a phone just in their yeah, hand smartphone right five eight so, five years yeah. old so like did you see that article this morning about school buses that have uh wi-fi in them now what? wow is that true hey yeah. wi-fi yeah. before seat belts well yeah one dude said <laughs> Motherfucker, my school bus didn't even have a heater. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like that Wi-Fi wi before, before seatbelts. Seat Listen, at least <laughs> all the children will die in a crash watching their favorite Disney <laughs> flick. Yeah. Like, the, exactly. the fact, the fact that school buses do not have uh, seatbelts at this at this point in time is pure nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Yeah. This is great. Ben, what's That's your really take good. on it? It's absolute nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> not there's a nonsense. <laughs> Weird. It's like it's not nonsense. It's nonsense. I think his mouth has to catch up with how fast his mind oh, is. Dude. He's, yeah, he's thinking he's too fast. Brilliant he's a dude. fucking brilliant and, guy. And I'm yeah. like, I don't I, like. I listen to him. I'm like, I'm stupid. He can stupid. Yeah. He yeah. can string yeah. some words together. God, can that motherfucker argue? Oh yeah. yeah. Man. Oh yeah. He's like a lawyer. Yeah. 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 Like a very well practiced lawyer. Oh exactly. yeah. He like has the, everything what ready. What if we hired Ben for? <laughs> Arguments within your marriage, <laughs> right? Yeah. Ben How good in. would he be? Well, well, I can't do the action. So, so I mean, if, if so, honey, if, if, you're, if you're talking about the the towels on the floor, we have to talk about the action. It's all about the action. <laughs> I was wet, and I had I was in a hurry. I put the towel on the floor, and. Uh, this is where we're at now. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you gotta do the step in. It's like, sweetheart, I, I brought Ben Shapiro to 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 take this one. Take for this me. one for me. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the argument, she's buying you a steak and yeah, giving you right, a blowjob. Right, right. You're like, that's my <laughs> boy Ben. Yeah, yeah. Let me just step in here. <laughs> and and by the way, she's also a libertarian now, right? So <laughs> yeah, exactly. I believe in it. The arguments with Ben Shapiro, just putting yeah. Ben Shapiro in any situation, because he's so like crisp, clean, like. I have these views. Here they are. I'm respectful. God, I saw one the other day of I, I, I couldn't even tell you what gender the person was. They had <laughs> those are my favorite. They videos. had a foamy Same. green long hair with gauged earrings and, and face piercings and everything, and they were arguing with him about gender, and it was just oh, like I, so that was the uh, social justice warrior uh, versus Ben Shapiro. Yeah. It, was, it was about uh, gender. Yes. Yeah. So she yeah. was like, "What? What?" She's like, "We what don't know." I remember what it was. I remember what it was. Got it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. What about Facebook will watch? Let me ask you that. Uh, I haven't gotten into that as much. I have, I'm in talks with them right now. I was talking more, I, I've gotten more closer to IGTV. IGTV is like my main thing, but Facebook watch, I haven't really well, gotten I, into. I think I told you this, right? Some of the reps that I, I've spoken with and some other people, they were actually saying that watch is struggling so bad just based off of the functionality and, and how like non-intelligible it really is. Yes. That now they're going to monetization of pages. So they're focusing back on pages to, in the hopes that all these massive influencers that have millions of followers get monetized on content on pages specifically and then maybe down the road they'll optimize I think it's watch. just getting it's, too it's, many places exactly. like you got IGTV and, and you got IG it's confusing. you got and Facebook that was my, watch, that was my Facebook. point behind all of it where does somebody like you who makes their living off of this where do you focus your time and energy to otherwise you'd spend fucking 15 hours of your sure. day uploading to all this all this yeah. shit do you specifically sit down and say all right I'm going to focus on these two apps and these two apps alone and that's how I'm going to crush it throughout yeah the I think it's been so far for me it's been TikTok and um, 
Instagram. Because you the think Instagram, TikTok grew your Instagram? Uh, not really. I've, okay. I've I have like almost a million on there now. I got like nine hundred thousand on TikTok. But um, as far as Instagram those I kind of they, they have that whole ecosystem. They have live. They have stories. It takes care of Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat. Does anybody use Snapchat? No. I, okay. I, I've, I've we have no. One. I it's have, hard. I have one, but I've never. I just never got felt the need to use it. And people are like you got to get on Snapchat. And even from like a business, like we we've, we've looked at it, but. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, mean, I, I don't, I don't know. It's I, difficult. It's difficult to use. Every time they update it, yeah. Congratulations. Through, like, yeah, you need through, a fucking manual to go with that. Sure. Through the grapevine, I've heard that brands aren't really kind of gearing towards Snapchat as much anymore. But it's that's why I'm focusing more on the Instagram ecosystem. You got live stories, posts, videos, and you have IGTV now. And the IGTV, I hopped on it because I heard from the people on Instagram. They're like, "Oh, we would love for you to post on Instagram TV because no one's posting on it. Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's just a free place to post right now you know what i mean so i got i got on it and then i had one video pop off and then all like a lot of them were doing millions plus on wow. igtv and wow. that helps That's your great. subscribers go try that yeah man gotcha and then like that stupid momo video what is it that yeah but now recently uh, the, and, and you the can, momo challenge yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can talk about this but within the last two weeks i've now seen where at 60 seconds in a video it says continue watching on IGTV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Was he listening when I was just talking about that? I didn't uh, hear that. About five minutes ago. Okay. I didn't hear that. The cool no. thing that <laughs> with Instagram right now is it has a feature where you can watch something for about 60 seconds, and then you can press continue watching on IGTV. Uh, no, well, you shit, see, really? before, yeah. like. So that's one of the things I really one like. One of the reasons the, 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 why I don't like Instagram <laughs> is. <laughs> I only get 60 seconds yeah, worth yeah, of yeah, clips, yeah. and it, <laughs> yeah. it's just kind of frustrating, and that's why I go to some of these other apps right, right, right. later no, down and the road, I, and like I get YouTube that, But what I had like heard that. is, after 60 seconds, you can continue on yeah. IG. What do you mean? Yeah. TV. Wait, I, wait you can watch something longer. Go to the video. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. Yeah. How long have you <laughs> gone on one of those things? What's your longest tirade? Because I here, here's why I love you, personally. You'll get on there and DJ sometimes. Oh, for like just, fucking 20, 30 minutes. Oh, the lives. Yes. The lives. And then just ask people to, yeah, to yeah, give, yeah. hey, I'll do this impression. Doesn't ma matter who it is. Yeah. It's the longest video you've ever gone. An hour. It's max. No shit. Right. Yeah, and you it's, only it, go live for an hour? Yeah, it's a video. Yeah. I didn't know The that. max is an hour. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who are you doing these days? Who, who are your big impressions? Because uh, you were on the other night and you crushed Eminem for us, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you again um, for, for I've Jared. Actually, I've actually been working really hard on that Shapiro one. <laughs> 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 I mean, not working hard. I've... I've I've really wanted to start doing something with that. So, I mean, it's a different market, but we're there. Yeah, um, I like how he's become that big that he no, people yeah. are trying to do so a hey, Shapiro. Now that you have that app that we shared with you, though, you can no. make some really funny no, shit. No, I know. That's what I really want to do. I really want to start going into that. We don't talk about it? that app, though. Oh, we don't talk about it? Well, we don't We don't release it yet. Oh, good. Yeah. letting us yeah, play yeah, with yeah, it Good, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some people ask about it, and I yeah, did you're not like, oh, no, I, I don't know where I got that. I do it with After Effects. Yeah. Like, we collectively need to reach out to this app and say, you know, Sponsor us, and sure. we will definitely tell everybody about your app. Exactly, yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. solid Good work. Job. Who who else are you doing these days? Ah, uh, let's see. I should know this, right? Coming on the show, I should I should know. This. Yeah. What's yeah. your Matt best impression? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, know me for like four. Hey years. guys, I work out. I have tattoos. I wear backwards hats Chad. on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Chad, bro. I'm a bro vet. <laughs> Can I do bro things? Bro no, vet. I'm actually like, uh, I'm trying to get more into characters. So like the the accents and stuff like that, just trying to make my own characters. I, I'm doing the impressions still, but the like just different accents and stuff. So, you ever yeah. audition for SNL? Mm, no, I, I I no, I have not. Is that something you want to do? Yes and no. I think I don't know. It's hard. To, it's, I, there's traditional media, then there's the social media kind of way that I'm going. Obviously, there's benefits to being on SNL, but yeah, you know, I've five, you, get, you only get five grand a week for each show. Also, though, yeah, they man. comb through everything they do and tell, hey, you can't have this one. They, this they tell you no. They tell you no a lot. It's like, or they they write for you. They have writers. Obviously, it's to make the product great. But you know, I don't know if you have that much creative freedom as if you were to have it like on your own. You don't for sure. Yeah. So, I just I'm doing my thing right now, but. I want to start to start developing more original characters. I so. yeah, I, I find it fascinating because you, you as a young comedian coming up, it was SNL or nothing if you didn't yeah, get it. Yeah, man, you, SNL your was life lost. was over. Now this new crop of talent is I'm gonna develop my own online persona sure. and fuck everybody else. Well, like, no, because our barista at the coffee shop today yeah, that's strongly disagreed with that. That's not her full time job, by the way. That's yeah. not. Oh. Her, she's a, she she's said an actor full time. That 
she doesn't believe in what the the influencer mentality. Yeah, yeah. It's She's like, it's fake. It's authentic. not real. It's right. not. It's not real acting. Did she it's know not. who you guys were? No. But no. then <laughs> I, was like, I was like, just you know, I built my whole life of YouTube. She's like, that's cool. She was very sweet and nice. I'll give yeah. that to her. But but again, still thinks. I moved to LA and I'm gonna do auditions Remember as that's, much as I that's can. That's like the that Vegas waitress years oh, back yeah, that yeah. like made fun of me, like, "Oh, you're just a fake oh, a idiot." Movie? Oh, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have another double vodka, please? Thanks, waitress. Yeah, <laughs> that's what <laughs> I. Well, not being mean, I'm simply saying she was the waitress. She was rude. Did you? All right, let me ask you this because I know Evan's got a habit of every city he goes to going to like a a locally owned coffee company. Is that what you guys did this morning? It wasn't yeah. locally owned. But. I mean, it was, it's kind of a California native company that serves great espresso. So, I mean, that's exactly what we did. But it's hilarious to walk in there because right when we're walking across the street to walk in, it's there's just, Dude. I mean, like six beta males outside, you know, <laughs> was talking about. He, he was pinging, man. So was he. He's like, this guy couldn't even kick my heavy bag without breaking a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that verbatim, but you know, it's just the way that they look at you. And I found that in Los Angeles. And, you know, God bless this weather. I mean, it's kind of cool to be back in California. <laughs> I'm Amazing. born and raised here. I love it. But the people are just hilarious. The way that we've been, we went and worked out today, the way they look at you, like, I don't know if they want to fuck me or they want to fight me. But oh, would you leave your MAGA hat in the locker room? Yeah, maybe yeah. it's because hey, of tattoos yeah. and I had, We're talking you know, about that. a machine gun on my shirt, but whatever. So Ma happy, bro. MAGA hat in the locker room? <laughs> we, were, we were talking about walking around down there with some MAGA hats. Dude, I, I'll do I, it. I, have, I have a hat that says, um, what is it, Red, red uh, white letters on a red hat, and I put it on my Instagram, and it just people were like, you're fucking racist. And I was like, dude, read the fucking read hat, the fucking you hat, dumb yeah. pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't care what the fuck you believe. Don't get pissed off about a hat. Like, I don't care. You know it's what I mean? crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. I got, I was, yeah. My, my hat literally out. says, fuck bitches getting money. Has nothing to do with politics. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Do you do any political people? Um, Political people. Like you do Trump? Mm. Hillary? I got a great, great guy, Trump. I mean, this, just your basic Trump. Very, <laughs> very, very nice guy. You know, Will Sasso does the best Trump, dude. It's hard, it's hard to do an impression when I know that someone does like a perfect impression right. there's some good yeah. ones out there. yeah there is some good ones yeah, out there because like will sasser like okay excuse me excuse me excuse me okay like he's just very like oh he does it so good i can't even do it but yeah there's good. there's some where you hear like uh fuck who's it? frank caliendo oh yeah dude when, when when somebody busts out like a great one you're like oh fuck. yeah yeah yeah. And you feel like a hack for doing it because you're like i can't be yeah can't dude be so there's like so did. many different imp impressionists that do have a, an impression that i won't even touch because it's like okay you got it yeah but I have a list of impressions, dude. I'm looking right now. You got an Alex Jones? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. L yeah. Oh yeah, folks. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, drinking bros. Uh, black, black rifle <laughs> all day long. <laughs> uh, did you hear? Did you see him on the Joe Rogan podcast? It Five was hours, amazing. dude. Of magic. I love it. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm a bit retarded. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Dude. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. It was that amazing. was the funniest shit I've ever heard. It was it was so rich. I felt like you know when you have a really dense chocolate cake, you can like eat it one bite at a time. <laughs> where you're like, man, that is rich. It's fucking really good. But I gotta put the fork down. Maybe walk around for a while. Come back to it. <laughs> I mean, eat another bite. You know, and then ah, you know. But then after a while, you're like, at the end, you kind of feel a little bit dirty and really full. Yeah. It's like, that is what that experience was like. like four <laughs> hours. I, like so rich, so wonderful. That was a great. Kind of a little bit dirty, a lot of you're full. I broke it up. Yeah, I, like, I, had I, to. oh yeah, I, I had I, but to. I treated it like a like a Netflix series where like I didn't want to binge watch yeah. it all at once because I knew you that needed it, to take it in. Yes, and so yeah. I I spaced it out. I was like an hour thirty over three nights, yep. and it was it was like watching a three part fucking doc series yeah, on dude. HBO for me. But he did, he got because the he highs and lows of it yeah, were so he, up he and down too. Oh, yeah. God. Like, oh, everybody. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> Remember when he said at Eddie Bravo that he was yeah. going to oh, yeah. choke me out? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, fucking choke me. Come on, man. Choke me. I'm not choking. <laughs> pussy. I'm not fucking <laughs> pussy. Choke me. Yeah. <laughs> incredible. No, but uh, uh, you guys go to Infowars.com. It's the only place I haven't been demonetized. Hillary oh, yeah. Clinton also caught, caught lying by the FBI. So talk about that on there. I have a Viper semen uh, vitality spray. There you yeah. go. <laughs> that's on sale. Hey, that's <laughs> our intellectual property. Viper semen. Yeah. Viper semen. We got, we got Oh, is that, that you? Yeah, it's Viper semen, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I knew that was in there somewhere. Yeah. Viper somewhere. semen vitality spray collaboration with the Article 15 guys. So uh, they're a bunch of good guys. I like them. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Who else are you doing these days? Um, 
com- I'm working on some comedians too. Like, okay. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Louis C.K. Oh, oh shit. You yeah. talking about him jerking off on people? Yeah. So I, I just the way I do Louis C.K. is I, I just, I just basically say it. He's just a drunk kind of. It's like a drunk voice, but it's kind of like I'm just gonna say. Look, I'm just. I didn't jerk off. And it's not like I raped them. Okay, I asked permission. <laughs> I, I just. I pulled out my. I just said, "Hey, mind if I jerk off for a little bit?" And I jerked off. You know. So just. Like, <laughs> it's, it's very like. I, I feel like that's when he come when he comes back. He's gonna have to address it. And I feel like he's gonna be like, "It's not like I raped them. I just. I just <laughs> pulled my dick out and maybe jerked off a little bit. I'm. I'm just saying that's what I did. Look, yeah, what, what, and, that, and that by the way, that's what he did. So yeah, when he came I know. Back, I know it's funny because he like, came back and he told a super graphic. It was a Parkland joke, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And then he goes. Some of the crowd was like, "Oh yeah, boy. yeah." yeah. Goes, oh fuck you, boo! These kids. These just because you get shot up by a school doesn't mean you know anything about politics. You're fucking thirteen. Yeah. Go outside, like. But yeah. the, but but the, <laughs> the the final line was super telling to me, where he goes. Uh, he goes, oh, what? What are you going to take away my fucking birthday now? My life is over. <laughs> and he was just like, fair enough, Louie. Fair enough. Like, And then, the, I mean, he'll be back, when yeah, you no, say? Yeah, no, he will. I just, it's- Under two years, he'll be selling out. Kathy Griffin had her best year ever this yeah. year. Oh, you're kidding. Best year she's ever had financially. Oh when God. she did her comeback tour, and I'm back, and fuck Trump, and uh, yeah. he broke me. Yeah. Now she's back. She had her best touring year ever. I think the same with Louis C.K., He'll be back within two years. Yeah, and fucking sell out everywhere for sure. Because he didn't rape anybody. No, that's that's that's. And when you're jacking off, <laughs> you have the option to fucking leave. Like if, if I know. Matt, yes. Matt and Evan pulled out their dicks and started jacking off, me staying and watching, I'm I'm the one who's that's Manchester. Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah. Which is a real possibility, by the way. <laughs> it is. Yeah, like. And I would put ten bucks on it that the only reason he would leave is because he, he needed to go get something shit. to help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needed to go get but something he to would, help. He would stick around. They no, would I, be phased. I would stay. You want to see? You want to see the trajectory, right? You want to yeah. see the? Yeah, I yeah. want to see the whole thing. I want to know who's bigger because he's Jewish. He's not Jewish. Like, you want to? Is he? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. he? Are you yeah. cirked? Chavez? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Is that real? No. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. What's up? Is that part of? What's up? What's up, motherfucker? What's up, dog? Is that part of the religion? Yeah, but I'm not, I didn't tell grow you why. Up. What's up? I didn't grow up in the religion. It's just in my genetics. Okay. Part of my makeup. I didn't, I'm not a practicing Jew. Because so, and then here's why I bring this up. If you're cert mm-hmm, or not, please. later on in life, <laughs> you know they come back when when you're like 50 and it's like infections and all that shit and you have to get it, you have to get it snipped. It happened to my grandfather. So he had to go in at like 60 years old and get circumcised. And he was like, mm-hmm. we'll go in together, Evan. Yeah, we'll hold hands and get our dicks. Are cut. you not cert? I don't know, Ross. I'm just trying to make a joke. <laughs> <show. laughs> really? He's like, I don't and know. And then we're going to encla- encase both of those in glass. Yeah, we're going to hang and them and sell the them office. on eBay. Oh. Man, I've got a snow's cut. I want to have my uh, like a circumcision <laughs> service where you can you can order whatever cert you yeah. want. Like I want a snow's cut. You know, where it's just like. Maybe two cold, like ice cold <laughs> rocks that have been in like Alaska, right? And then you bam, you smash that shit together right on the skin. It comes right off, and then you pack it in snow. And that's a nice snow's cut. Like for Jared, I think he would have a princess <laughs> cut, like a princess cut, some form square. of a diamond. Yep, some form yeah. of square diamond. That it was like, ooh, we saw that in a jewelry but case. But like from like from the the diamonds, like from the the hills of like like from Africa, like yeah, yeah, African yeah, blood yeah. diamond. Yeah, you want yeah. you want fucking think if he has now know, diamonds. Yeah, you want the blood diamonds. You want yeah. the DiCaprio diamonds. Absolutely. Is what you're saying. Yeah. 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 You want to be handing her the diamond with a hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's when you know it's good. If it comes with a tiny black hand from overseas. <laughs> no, I mean, right, just right out of the mine where you're just like, hey, man. You try to pocket it. You try to pocket it. Fucking boom. Hand chops off and then you hand that over. That's the best diamond you could get. That one's forever. Where you're like, all right, sweet. A diamond is forever. Yeah, like yeah. she opens up the box and it's the hands with the diamond in it. And there's just, it's caked in blood. It's like, oh my God, you really do love me. You really do fucking love me. That's Boom. what I want to see. Sales. A diamond Exa- is forever. Yeah, exactly. And then there's just the hands. A diamond is ever kiss baggins. I, I, I think they could Jesus. actually explore that <laughs> yeah. because people don't give a shit, obviously, because they continue to buy diamonds. They don't care about the exploitation of miners yeah. or any of those other yeah. things. 
they should just really kind of explore that and have a certificate of authenticity that's like, hey, so many people were killed. It comes in a, in yeah, a cooler. the excavation of these diamonds. So when you're a real fucking heartless piece of shit, you can go, I like these. These are the, yeah. so I this want is the these. This is a real four carat. Seven people were directly killed yeah. in mm-hmm. obtaining this diamond. Wow. Then it's not only the carat yeah. size, then right. it's also how many people were killed getting it. Yeah, and so you could etch you, that and you inside know. of the ring. <laughs> like you want to know. Yeah, That's I want to know. Yeah, that's you want it to come soul-less. with a DVD. Yeah. Well, it's because they give you the cer- certificate, right? So when you, whenever yeah. you buy a diamond, they give you a, a certification. Right. Like this is real. Just give me one finger, one yeah. finger off the kid. <laughs> put that in there. Wrap. You can wrap it up. Like I, I don't look. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how to keep it fresh. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. Yeah. Wrap it up. Put it in the box. That'll be better than the certificate. I'm you can fake a certificate. You you can't fake a finger. Pretty sure you, you don't have fit. to be a scientist to cut a finger off, though. Eh, I, I would trust one more. Really? You know? Yeah. A scientist? I would trust a scientist <laughs> to cut off my Not finger. Not like a doctor, a medical no, doctor? Nope. I go pure scientist. Like what Who's, kind of scientist? Like Bill Nye. Like, 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 like that fucking guy. Like Tom Cruise? Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Scientologist. Like Bill Nye should be cutting off black kids' fingers. Like yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Right? Like I, I would feel confident in that because it would probably be one of those frozen things where it's just like, oh, this is hypo, whatever. And you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Or like a, a magnifying glass towards the sun. Boom. Burned off my finger. And I was like, oh, shit. No, that, I don't really even know this, man. That works. I don't think. <laughs> How long really do you think it would take to burn a finger off with a magnifying glass? Because oh, it cooks God. an ant in a couple seconds. I you're think it depends on the size of the magnif- magnifying glass. That's yeah, right. yeah. Right. And right. you got, position you of the shit. sun. Yeah. And cloud and cover. Yeah. Density of skin. If you're near the equator. Yeah. Ah, not yeah. sure if that one applies, but we'll take yeah, it. Yeah, because the sun's we'll closer it. to you, it's more sun's powerful. hotter down there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I like that. Ecuador. Yeah. yeah, you probably if you go down to Ecuador, that that is that, where magnifying glasses work the best. Yeah, that'd be your best bet for something like that. There's also no magnetic pole in either direction. I'm really curious, <laughs> and after this podcast, I'm gonna Google <laughs> bad injuries from magnifying glass burns and see what comes up on the internet. Oh boy, mm. I would ask Dave to Google that, but he just Google like, "Where's my sandwich?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really, it's still funny. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sandwich? wondering that. So I mean, it's hit or miss. I, I, so. I was thinking about that, like in the context of uh, you get in a car accident. For whatever reason, I was thinking about this probably a year ago, where let's say you are a person that has really thick glasses. You get in a car accident and you're in the sun, and the fucking glasses are just literally frying your eyeball. Yeah, right. Ow. There's nothing you can do. You're just like laying. Or there, like, look oh, at fuck, this in a medical sense. Do you think that if you had thick glasses or a magnifying glass and you had a freaking arterial bleed that you could cauterize, cauterize a wound it? with it? Might, maybe it or might be maybe. something in the field, man. Manual head goes in the horn, right? You crash <laughs> it, crash into a tree. Thick glasses, right? You're looking down, heads down. Sun's coming down. That would burn a hole right through your no, leg. no, yes. right into your oh. dick. You could you could circ too. Uh, like yeah. yes, you could circ yourself you that could, way. Yeah. There you go. I wonder if anybody's ever been circumcised that way. I'm sure, <laughs> yes. Probably. Magnifying glass circumcision company. I, I like it, it, it. And you can see this. Like, if you look at, um, like, there's some really fucking disturbing imagery. Like, rabbis, when they're circumcising kids, like, dude, it is a fucking brutal act. Oh, yeah. It is yeah. brutal. Really? Yeah. It, it, it's not something, like, it's not something you want to sport watch, obviously. That's that. But well, when if you're, you're doing debatable. research. When, in yeah. a sense, because we, when guy. we were getting ready to have kids, <laughs> I was like, ah, you know, kind of weighing the options as to like circumcision and some of those things. I don't know how we got on this topic, but I was like, <laughs> uh, wow, that is uh, that is fucking horrible. And it's like medieval. It's fucking disgusting. Uh, there was a there was actually a story on rabbis recently. were transmitting herpes to babies because part of the process for some rabbis is they actually they they put their fucking mouths like on the on the utensil mm-hmm. and they're transmitting fucking herpes to the child. Oh my god. It's fucking disgusting. Jesus Christ. It's fucking disgusting. So uh, when I, yeah. I, I got, thanks I, for going down that yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, Maybe we should just edit that piece out. That <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just gross That's some really out. interesting. No, it's, it's great. fucking disgusting, dude. But in like, t- in today's it's world, it's medieval. Yeah, in today's world, so like I I have two sons, right? Yeah. And they ask you if you want to know the sex beforehand, which I did, obviously. Um, because I only wanted boys. Yeah, I don't shoot girls anyways. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, but it's all in my mind, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. they ask you, do you want to circumcise your child? And I was like, why am I getting this question three months in advance? And they were like, well, because you know, f- seven hours after the baby's born, that's when we're gonna do it. Right. And uh, so they come into the room, and then you know, the the first one they did it right in front of me, and they were like, do you want to watch? And I was like, oh fuck. I, I felt like I should because yeah. I was a dad. It was yeah. my first kid. So I was like, 
You're like, yeah, yeah I'm going to be there. But yeah, so it was, it was a lot of confidence of like, yeah, yeah, I should probably, I should, I should probably see what you're doing down yeah. there in the whole, yeah. you know, it's kind of like a jiffy lube where they're like, yeah, your air filter's dirty. You're like, sure, can I pull it out and show it to you? And you're like, yeah, 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 yeah show it to, I don't know how fucking dirty you're, like, I'm sure you're conning me at 18 more dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, but I'm going to go look and pretend I know what the fuck's going on. Sure. Same with this. So I watched and I was like, man, it. I'm not real squeamish over a lot of things, but I was like, man, nah, that could be my dick. You know? <laughs> yeah. Not so much my son's, but that could be my dick, right? Yeah. yeah. It was your dick it at was one your, point. It was. Yeah. And so, you know, it's this thing, and then, you know, the baby immediately starts screaming his face off, obviously. They yeah. give it this medication, and then they're out. Yeah. So the kid's out. You're sleeping in the room with your child or whatever, and for a brief, you know, seven to eight hour period, because they only keep you overnight in the hospital now. You think to yourself, oh, man, I just had a baby who doesn't cry. Like, that was it. So he was <laughs> he was a real motherfucker during the circumcision. Probably going to be a great child. He's just out. And then the next day he wakes up and it's fucking bulls on parade. And you've got to deal with that the rest <laughs> of your life. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the second it's... one, on the second boy, they were like, hey, you know, you have the option to take the baby away. And we're going to do this. And it's based on what time the circ doctor can get there. And I was like, oh. did you come up with a street term Cirque? Cirque did, yeah. Because yeah. uh, yeah. I wanted to do this thing. I want to do a sketch called Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Mm, where nice. you, you could circumcise midair and then the skin would fly out <laughs> to the audience members and things like that. Yeah. And that was part of the experience. I'm to think you just have a penis fetish. It was like a Gallagher <laughs> show. He might. I might. might. I might. Now that we're, we're workshopping this yeah, out loud. Okay, you can appreciate a good dong. I yeah. do. Like, my favorite thing in this earth, male uh -oh. nudity in, in films and dick pics from my friends. Right. Nothing makes me laugh harder in this world than those two things, and I'll never get by that. <laughs> Noted. I think you just like gay porn. I don't like gay porn, though. That's the thing. I like the laughter out of a dick. Oh, of a dick, Nothing yeah. makes me you laugh You like the joy of what a dick brings. Than a dick, correct. Okay. Like, if you brought Amy Schumer in here, and she did a, an hour set, or just one male dick who just ran up, smashed it up against the, the fucking window and ran away. <laughs> I would laugh harder at that than a stand-up comedian just, just rolling in for an hour. Like, I want to see a dong against the window, a black dong in particular. <laughs> Nothing makes me laugh harder than a, a black guy's dick in something. And there was, a, there was a Fairly Brothers movie. In something. There was a Fairly Brothers movie where a guy had, like, blacked out inside a hot tub and the guy that had to bring him back to life was this black guy. The biggest dick you'll ever see on screen, <laughs> and he's just giving this guy chest compressions, and the dick is going up and down. Oh, as wait, he's what, doing what movie it. was that? Uh, I forgot what it was. It was, was. A, it was a Fairly Brothers movie. I laughed like, and it's so un like, it, and it was in a theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uncomfortably loud that everyone <laughs> around me was just like, "You are fucking disgusting." <laughs> Same with that MacGruber during the. Oh, I'm going to shoot. Fucking great, yeah. dude. I'm yeah. going to shoot during that. Like oh, the entire God. audience was. I was in L.A. Everybody was grossed out. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> I, I mean, tears of like that crying. Was, that out was a good one. Too. That yeah, was a good that's one. That's one of the best ones. People don't like it though. Is what I well, learned as much you as know, I do. We all do. I mean, one of my favorite cinematic moments is when Evan got his dick ripped off by a little person. So yes. Yeah, I was, that, I was a fan fave of that I scene. I still laugh at that. To In this one day. of your videos <laughs> that got all of us for the end of time that we can never repeat on air or yeah. in person, but beside each other, involved a, a penis, right? Yeah, yeah, sure did. I laughed for a thousand years, and none of it, but I rewatched it like 20 times. Was that one still better than the last go-around? Yes, because I, I appreciate what it took to get that first okay. one. Okay. And I still monetarily hmm. don't know what you gave to... to whatever fun that was to make that I happen. still want to bring it back. You guys haven't been... I'm down to bring it back. been playing. I, I don't know what that is. I just have to have you some ideas. It's like playing against Jordan. Have you you've seen them? Obviously, Evan. I've only seen one. Oh, you didn't see the first one. Nope, didn't see the first one. I, I don't know that it exists anymore in the no, world. No, it's probably. gone. Yeah. It's it's probably in the cloud somewhere. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't have the cloud for that specific <laughs> reason. Right. So yeah, the second one though was an all timer. The second one I appreciated more because there was a music edit in there that yeah, I was the just score like, for that was that's that a, what made it. Oh, God. I was in tears. Yeah. Like, do you ever make you ever make fucked up videos for your girlfriend with your dick or anything like that? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like your dick doing an impression? Uh, oh, my God. Because have you, have you ever seen Puppetry of the Penis in Vegas? It used to be here in L.A. No, I have not. It's two guys from Australia. They can do like a million tricks with their dick, right? And they can <laughs> fold it up into like uh, uh, the, the cheeseburger. I've the driven by that building, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's got the giant billboard. I'm it's like... 
the fuck is that? And it's like an hour and a half show. So I've oh seen, my I've, God. obviously I've seen it's it. It's at a por- big porn shop. Yeah, it? I've seen yeah. it. So my, Vegas, my buddy right? yeah. got me, if you tuck a cigarette underneath your dick and balls, right? Right in the shaft. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then put a pair of sunglasses on it because you can <laughs> fold them around, <laughs> around it. It makes it look like a person. <laughs> The impressions you could do with your own dick and balls to send to people would, would you yeah. would win. You would win every video contest there Great. is. Great, I, I know what to send you now. Like, for, what's your first? What card. was your first impression ever? Uh, of who? Like, ever? Anyone? Oh, uh, fuck. Were you a kid? Yeah. Oh, it was my. It's probably my um, Lebanese uh, science teacher. His name was Mr. Kadesi. L- let's let's hear that one. He was this this guy who spoke like this, and he he was like this person who. Would talk about chemistry all day long, but he was this guy, and it was this person here. I don't. Is that guy, that accent? I don't even know if that's Lebanese, but it was that he would speak like that. So I would, and it was funny because like the kids would tell me, "Oh, do Mr. Kadesi, do do that guy," and so like the teachers even got involved. They're like, "Oh, do it." They, they, they knew I would do impressions, so that was probably one of the first ones. Uh, wow. I need to give my penis a voice though. I'm I'm, I'm inspired. Hi. Yes, it's probably yeah. Mickey Mouse. Right, it's like, "Hi, hey, pal." Oh it's, gosh, it's like Mr. <laughs> Towel, right? Yeah, ah, I'm Mr. Tail. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, baby. How you doing? Or it's like, <laughs> that's it. Just <laughs> Do you ever make like comedy videos for a very select amount of friends that you just trust? Because I thoroughly enjoy that. When I take an hour of my time, spend some logistics, really get get it going, and it's only for about three people. That shit makes me laugh because I could never post it, but it's like all the time and effort just for a good quality laugh. Because I really, and then I'm every time I send it, I am <laughs> I am more concerned with the feedback from them than I am publishing to millions of people. I'm like, yeah, what I'll are they gonna <laughs> think? Are they gonna laugh? Are yeah, we well, my friends still. It wasn't like a long time, but I spent a lot of time on that app that shall not be named. Then mm, and mm, put my mm. face on, and I did Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the oh, fuck yeah. up! Oh yeah. Yeah. So do you ever take? Do you go back and take down impressions where you're like, oh boy? No, I, I, I del- almost posted a Michael Jackson video. Um, it's just like, hey everyone, it's just, I wanted to say that I'm, I'm sorry for all the things that I've done and, and it's, I've spent a lot of money, uh, time working on this, proving <laughs> my innocence, like just stuff like that, just, just getting really, but I, I didn't, I crossed. One guy I, did. You no, know I know, I know, Kyle. You know the comedian who did and it blew up. Kyle. Yeah. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious, dude. Have you heard his Bill Maher impression? No, is he got a, so he's got funny. a good Bill Maher? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's, I, yeah, so that's a Bill. No one does Bill Maher. No one does Bill no Maher. No one yeah, does yeah, Bill yeah, Maher. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I can't. I can't do it. And, and I don't know if we could see it, but it's amazing. But you know that. Yeah, the my, I, once he did it, I was like, oh, fuck, I can't do it. I like so people good. who do very obscure impressions. Yeah. That you like you only know and nobody else really knows. Yeah, like yeah, those yeah. those are the ones that get me. Yeah. Is there anybody obscure you do where you're just like, man, I can't do this for a big audience because they just wouldn't fucking understand what it is. Ah, let's see. I mean. Like uh, ex- obscure as in like a obscure celebrity or just like yeah man? like my, like Cole Hauser's mine like I like this actor named Cole Hauser but I don't think anybody really knows who it is he's got red hair he was in uh, Days and Confused um, oh oh the guy that oh and Cole do you have a Cole Hauser yeah 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 but I only me and my friends do it for each other and I I'd put it on an SNL audition okay because they 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 ask you every year until they say no and then it's over right sure so like I just kept. <laughs> But by, by like the fifth time they had asked me to make another tape, I was just like, man, I'm just gonna start doing obscure impressions. And then my my, my agent even called. I was like, don't fucking like take that <laughs> one off. I don't know who Cole Hauser is. I was like, come on. He was in that movie with Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston, The Breakout. You're literally just going in depth of how no one knows him. So <laughs> yeah. the expectation yeah. that I, the who doesn't no, watch, he was, no he clue. was one of the bullies in Days of Confused, yeah, right? He was uh, one of the uh, arrest of, like yeah, yeah. Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn would be like, hey, hey, you, you keep talking like that. You're 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 gonna get arrested. Yeah, you're gonna like, get arrested, buddy. Uh, uh, arrested for what? For what, babe? For 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 being awesome? <laughs> for being awesome, babe? That's what you're gonna get arrested for? For being fucking awesome, babe? <laughs> no one knew who that was, and they Dude. were like. Get it off your fucking reel right now. Replace it with somebody more mainstream. He was in Fast and the Furious. Yes. He was in Fast and the Furious. Nobody remembers this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no clue. No what one. a bonding no moment clue. here. What not, a bonding not, moment. But you've got to have one that's your favorite. It's with Sheriff John Burnell. That's, I, that's my favorite one. I love do. that. Yeah. It's, I don't know who it is. Do that. So it's the, it's the guy who does the World's Wildest Police Chases. Oh, yes. You did that on the, sh- on, yeah, on the live yeah, yeah. show. Do do it for Evan wasn't there. I wasn't there. Nor so nor do it's uh it's you you know what I'm talking about right the no. guy who so the guy there's like the you'll know the show when no it's like the transition of the police cars and they go police are trying to crack down on suspicious drug dealers it's just the the guy right. who does <laughs> right yeah world's scariest yeah. police yeah, yeah, yeah. chase yeah. they're always like in some fucking random yeah. place like Chattanooga Tennessee 
And it yeah. just starts off like, look out mountain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chug water, Wyoming. I always like when people celebrate. It's like their hometown. It's like Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm from Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, it's a meth head that just killed a family. Why yeah. are you excited that it's from your fucking hometown? <laughs> the perpetrator pulled a knife on police. <laughs> <laughs> and once the police run the plates, the car comes up stolen. <laughs> and then that's yeah, oh, dude. bad boys, bad boys. Oh, yeah, but no, that's not one of my favorite ones to do. Like, but he's just like, I'll do it. I'll do it when I'm driving too. I'll just like record a little bit of it, and then just oh, save that's it. Great, and then just go back home, and I'll just be like, <laughs> I don't know, Tallahassee, Florida. And I'll just record like some random ass like. You should thing. do a bit about we were talking about this the other day. It's always the Florida man that does like the weirdest shit in the news. Oh, you like, can just Google. Oh yeah, Florida man Your birthday. Gets, fucks Gator and then breaks up with sister wife. You right. Know, like, no, but like, why is the Florida guy always the fucking weird? Isn't the Florida guy eat the woman's face? The zombie? Yeah, yes. it's always yeah, the Florida yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Florida dude threw a, an, uh, alligator an alligator through a drive-through window. Yeah, I'll yeah. say that like a Florida <laughs> man. Florida man threw an alligator through a window, but the alligator. Had it coming, like just like yeah. he has like, like che- cheesy ass lines, you yeah, and the, the Lori Lachlan, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> you doing Aunt Becky? No, no, I don't do an Aunt Becky. But I like, was I, like, yo, if you're dropping an Aunt Becky, like that's a <laughs> well, that's what we were talking about at the show. At the, the tag- show, he did if if the if, yeah, show yeah, if was Becky, over yeah, Lori yeah, yeah. house. <laughs> Looks like Aunt Becky went from Full House. To the big house, like yeah. just cheesy ass lines. Yeah, dude. that is exactly <laughs> something that dude would say. Yeah. And he's always walking through crime scenes. You know that? <laughs> just yeah. stepping There's like over. a dead body. It's like police are trying to track down on DWIs in Tacoma, Washington, and he's just like walking over dead bodies. There's caution tape and shit. And they're like, right. "What the fuck is this guy doing?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sir, this is a goddamn crime scene. Fuck off. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are the audience's favorites? Because I know mine. Like whenever you come on, I've got to hear Eminem. So like when you came on the live show the other night, I was like, dude, you got to do it. Yeah, M&M. that was fun, dude. That was really fun. Jared and the piano and the Eminem thing. That was yeah. Great. Which, which, because you do, and we talked about this. You do Jared's voicemail. What's your favorite impression of, of Vincent Marcus? No, I like, I like when we go through that Dr. Dre and Eminem song. That's the funnest. Yeah. yeah. It's just I could I just, hear I'll, that well that night. Yeah. No. For so sure. I had to like play the piano by sight. Yeah. And I was, and I, and I was giving you hints to like, all right, we do, we did the full verse. Okay, we're good. Yeah. But no, I just, I do a bunch of rappers too, man. I do like. A oh yeah, bunch. you do Jay Z yeah. and Jay Z. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, a, a lot of people do like Jay Z up here, but I want to talk to like the people like as Jay Z. If I was just talking like, like conversational, you know what I mean, <laughs> and still have it from like New York, you can still taste, it. you can still hear the New York accent, but you want to make it so it's not too comical. You want to be conversational. That's like my. <laughs> that's my <laughs> do you have any new rappers? Because, I mean. I mean yeah, you know, why I mean, you started a well, mumble is it, rap Is it hard? Because they're all mumble rap. Yeah, yeah they kind of so yeah. like. It's going to be hard. Fuck, I think it's so stupid. Like, the mumble rappers these days, they'll, they'll, they'll do, like, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. And they'll, it'll, like, be super spent three racks on a new chain. You can hear what they're saying. But when they go to the shows, they scream the lyrics. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Do they really? I would yeah, never go so to like, one of those like shows. Never because seen a they're so hyped, live show. Yeah. But it, it doesn't sound like they're real voices. Yeah, anymore. they're like, I'm gonna smoke that shit, I'm gonna fuck that bitch. And it's very like low, right? So when you're thinking the show, you're thinking you're gonna get serenaded by this guy. It's like, I'm gonna fuck that. But it's like, I'm gonna fuck that. They just scream it for no reason. Because they get too hyped on this. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's true, man. It's weird. The well, one who, who doesn't is uh, a lot. What's oh, a name? lot. 21 Savage. 21 Savage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He like yeah. falls asleep on stage. I saw that one performance with Drake. <laughs> he like comes around. He's like, I've been popping, hanging in the back. <gasps> I've been sitting. <laughs> and you're like, yo, this motherfucker's falling asleep on stage, dude. I've never seen someone sleep do you more need? bored at their own concert where I'm like, how much money you got? A lot. He, so we, we went to go interview Post Malone. He got sick. Whatever. We, we couldn't interview him. So we had backstage and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. 21 Savage opened up. He, oh, he comes out to like this, it was, no lie, it was 13 minutes of this Friday the 13th shot like like a movie and all this stuff. And you're like, oh, fuck. I'm about to see the fucking dopest concert of the year. Yeah. And he walks that on stage. Hey, everybody, it's nice to see you. Nice to be here. And you're nice just to like, be here, 21. what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah. The other guys get hyped up, though, and they can't. Yeah. They can't contain themselves. That's why they start screaming. Yeah, but it's, it's weird. Like that. So basically, twenty one, I guess, is just living up to what he's his music, or whatever. But there's other rappers like Lil Yachty. Yep. Some other people that are like, just like they'll talk like this in the song, but when they're live, they scream it for some unknown reason. Yeah. And it's weird. I, I mean, people are into it. Like they like it. they just like the energy, like the hype. But I like the old school rap. Do like fifty man, fifty cent. Fifty cent doesn't open his mouth when he talks. Yeah. 
He just speaks through his teeth. He can't. He got yeah. shot in the mouth. Yeah, but it talks like this, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, laugh at me. Dude, when he when he <laughs> called out Floyd Mayweather, did you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, dude. How he couldn't fucking read. And yeah, all I said, that. man, if you could read one page from a Harry Potter book, man, I'll give you $100,000 to a charity of your choice. Like, it was just like, <laughs> it's like he's talking and he's singing at the same time. <laughs> it's your birthday, bitch. No. <laughs> Go on, bitch. It's your birthday, man. Got the man, got the producer laughing on this shit, man. I feel yeah. like that we should have a whole day where we only talk in song. <laughs> yeah. Right? So everything, it's like, Ross, do you want to go to the gym? I don't want to go to the gym. I want nachos. Man, I want hey. nachos too, man. I want nachos, man. Send this shit over, man. Y'all go to the gym yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> but he just like, just doesn't even sing. Just like, 50. Oh, man, my bad. We're going to the gym. Like, he just <laughs> yeah <laughs> pops into the song. But no, dude, like, old school rap's where it's at, dude. Like, I don't That's know if you guys are old school rap fans. Are you fans. kidding me? That's Oh yeah, diehard. Who else? Who else you do? Um, you got DMX. Uh, that's it. No, I mean, I, <laughs> well, there's actually some really good new X. shit coming out too. I'm all about like lyricists, you know. For sure. Oh there's yeah. There's this young kid that did that. It was mumble rap versus um, lyricist. It's on YouTube. I check it out. It's got only like two million views, but he plays both parts, uh-huh. and it's like he's rapping as a mumble rapper who's just got that. I've been, you know, bitches all that shit auto tune, and then he goes into actually, you know, rapping it. Sure. Very high quality and. Yeah, I miss those guys. Yeah, that's, me too. I did jam. a I did a video with um, with Biggie, Snoop, uh, Dre, and Eminem, and I wrote all the lyrics to it. It was just like, like as if they would write it. Sure. So it was it did really well. I got a lot of positive feedback. Like a lot of hip hop sites shared it and stuff. So I can be a hip hop artist if I want to. I'm going to record try. Yeah. that on the track. We were in the Catfish Play. I'm gonna oh, do yeah, a whole yeah, Yellow yeah. Wolf track on that, bro. Right. I'd love to do a, a Yellow Wolf album. Oh shit. Um, you know, by the way, he's putting on another Catfish Billy track. He just posted it the other day. No, it came out. I've been listening to Catfish Billy too. Yeah. No, oh no, shit. It's out. Yeah, Catfish Billy. Fuck, dude. Yeah, it's dope. Actually, I really, ju- I like it. You do Yellow Wolf at all? Mm, no, no. Is that too obscure for people? Maybe I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I've he's heard some. He's a tricky I've, artist. I've heard some of his shit. I can't like pinpoint his voice right now. Like, if you were to tell me, like, oh, I, I don't know what his voice. Matt like. can. Only over music though. I can't do an impression. Here. Yeah, because he's just kind of. Yeah, sitting around talking is hard to do. Like. Like I like the, just like the conversational stuff, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah. over music, it's it's way easier. It's way easier, cause yeah. You get with it, yeah. Because that buffet, man, it's so good. <laughs> so, do you does, does anyone else? Stories by Fifty Cent would be something that man. I would listen oh, to. Oh, that would be funny. Man, good night, Moon. Man, get that bitch ass Moon out of here, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good night, baby. Man, go. To, oh, but that's like uh, go to go the fuck to sleep. Yeah. With yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Who did that? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He uh, did. Yeah. 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 Somebody Go else to sleep. Somebody else wrote it and then they had him narrate it and it destroyed yeah. audio book wise. Like <laughs> I mean like what is it? Do not like them, Sam my am. Do not like them next to him. Do not like them here or there, man. Like just, <laughs> just, but like, just yeah, just start a bit of like them here or there. Series. I don't like yeah. them here anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are fighting over the yeah. fucking words of yeah. Dr. Seuss book. But see, Pitbull Pitbull and Jay Z are almost the same impression. Very similar, yeah. Because Jay Z is like this, right? But if you add a little bit of Dominican, and it's, it's this guy, now it becomes Pitbull. It, it's very, it's very, it's like the same <laughs> back of the throat. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. 305. And he doesn't say five, he says five. Five. 305. <laughs> what? I don't know. After the 305 album, I've never listened to Pitbull. I can't get into that. I mean, to each their uh, Dude, own, it's not so my thing. fucking easy to write a Pitbull song, though, dude. It's like, it's like the, like the country, like, format, like beer, dirt road. Beer, like it's, yeah, there's, a, there's, exactly. a, <laughs> yeah, right. there's a there's a there's a there's a Chevy trucks, beer and dirt roads, yeah, and then it's and then uh, like a, a blue jean or a type of beer or whatever. Yeah, you and you do videos on Instagram like country, yeah, country versions of rap songs. And yes, stuff. yeah, uh, do do one. There was one. God damn it! I just watched one a few weeks ago. That was uh, great. You, drip you too did. hard, don't stand too close. You can fuck around and drown out this way. <laughs> it was like it was the drip too hard. There's that one and there's um. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Throw your hands in the air. If you's a true player, I love it. Like that. Like that. <laughs> I'd say we go to the studio and we do one of the most like a Cardi B song, but in a male country. Oh, voice. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, I had that. Uh, I, yeah. I did that one. It was, um, what was it? Uh, little bitch, little bitch, you can't fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these are written bottoms. These are your cowboy boots. It's very like. <laughs> yeah. Hit the store, I can get them both. I don't want to choose. Like it's very, it's very like hoedown, very hoedown. Cardi yeah, B. I can dig it. Have hoedown. you heard of those uh, country rap artists? Oh, like it's a new genre. Well, now it's like yeah, country trap. 
Yeah, I, it's, it's crazy. It's man. an auto tuned like, like yeah. What like trap? Yeah. Oh yes. god. Uh, but they but they yeah. they rap. It's like some it's outlaw country. country stuff. That's it. Yes, yeah. outlaw, outlaw country, country? Is what they Some, call it. something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. It's essentially mumble rap over country. It's confusing. It's like dip in my Chevy truck and I ain't giving a fuck. Oh, like oh, like that. What's his name? Big Floyd. Big Floyd. No. Y- yeah, I know you're talking about. Right. That's exactly yeah. who it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dip in on my truck. I don't, don't, don't. I, I get. I get what you're saying. And when I saw him come out on stage, I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck yeah, is like this?" Overalls and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's like that whole yellow wolf genre. I mean, it's like the slum American Alabama. movement with yeah. like Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, and all these guys, which they're huge rap fans, but then they're country boys. They just kind of comp- combine the genres. I mean, that's sick. I'll, I'll take it over like mumble rap because mumble rap like sings about, you know, fucking bitches and doing drugs and committing crimes. At least the country guys are like riding big trucks and banging their wives. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what was that one <laughs> I had up the other day? The word M&M's was in the song like 30 fucking times. M&M's, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the one I showed you that I was just trying to to build the template. Oh to yeah, voice. yeah, 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 yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> well, ridiculous. now rappers are putting product placement in the songs. Yeah, yeah so they totally. can get shit like. Oh yeah, I, I, I remember got s- Balenciaga. Like uh, that <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like it's Cardi how, B. How much Patron I drink? A lot. lot. How many yeah. times at Shop at Target? A lot. <laughs> how many? You're like, how are many, you just how many? listing all the sponsors? <laughs> it's almost like a, a rapper's <laughs> becoming a NASCAR driver. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where do I mail my packages? UBS. Yeah. Was that two-day shipping? Amazon. Yeah. That's Because Post dude. Malone put Bud Light in a couple of his songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that he's, yeah, for sure. And he's, they were like, what'd you get out of it? And he's like, free Bud Light for life. And it was like, plus, plus what else? What else did you get for that? Free Bud Light for life. That would be f- pretty rad. rad. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think yeah. they cut me off halfway. Like, I don't know how you're not dead by now. <laughs> but. How, do you, how do you, do you show the, is it just Bud Light ships you be? Yeah, they just ship okay. it to you. You know, once a week, they think. You but know, there's also a card. Yeah, yeah. A, a buddy of mine who was famous on like a bunch of those teen shows, like Angel and Buffy. Yeah, he had a free Hooters card for life. No shit. Yes, and yeah, but you have to go into a Hooters. You can't everywhere sells Bud Light. You Correct. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, so. But for all the Hooters we go to anywhere in America, and like we would fuck with them no matter where we were. I mean, Alabama. Fucking uh, Alabama was the last one, and this was he. He sat it for 15 years. No this, shit. Alabama he pulled this card out, and the waitresses were like, "I've never seen this. We've got to call the manager over." And they were like, "Yeah." It's Does anybody legit. even eat at Hooters? Love the food it. is fucking terrible. I, love it. I mean, I like their chicken sandwiches. Dude, the chicken right. sandwiches are dope as shit. Yes. Yeah. Buffalo yeah. chicken sandwich. What do you yeah. think? Uh, the last time I ate there was actually when we were doing our live show at Fort Bragg. And I walked over because that was the closest restaurant to the hotel. So I, I forget what you guys were doing. I just walked over. <laughs> chicken, sandwiches. chicken sandwiches. Uh, Twin Peaks is significantly better. Tilted Kilt even. Tilted Kilt. Yeah. You know. I it's mean, a family restaurant, Vince. It's a family restaurant. Yeah, right. you're from El Paso. Dad Junior, th- there's the clip. You see it right there? It's hanging out. Got it. Her, her. That's her pussy lips. <laughs> you're looking. You're like, where? Where? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell, I didn't know they had themselves a roast beef sandwich on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was pretending to be a dad telling his son about the family experience, and Ross is looking for a clit in the corner. That's right. I looked too. I mean, I'm not I look, we lie. all looked. Like, like, I was just thinking about Baggy Batman. Yeah. Oh, is that a, is that a clit? It's just Dave. <laughs> That's all just I was Dave. doing. Baggy Batman. Dave. So, do you live here now? No, I'll be here in June. Are you, oh, are I didn't mean to pussy June. that way, Dave. I'm, I, I wasn't calling you that. I was just saying you had a small penis. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not mic'd up today. It's unfair. Are you still in uh, El Paso then? No, I'm in San Diego. Oh, you're in San Diego. Yeah. Okay, cool. Been cool. in San Diego for a minute. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Where's San Diego? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? He's like, Matt's like, what is San Diego? Uh, what near is the Gaslight oh. District? Or it's a whale's that? vagina. Is that a yeah. gas yeah. station? Yeah. yeah. Is that a... Hmm. Is Will Ferrell you live, live in like there? Oceanside, what part of SD? Um, it's called Kearney Mesa. Okay. Yeah. The reason I ask is you don't really have to live anywhere doing what you do, right? Yeah. So do you just choose whatever city yeah, based so on? I like. I can. I want to. I want to move to LA to just be closer to like the, the like the taking meetings and shit like that and doing like the hosting like on camera stuff. If I ever if I want to go out, do that route, you know. But, um, but yeah, I, for now I I haven't had to. I haven't had to be in LA. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what yeah. I figured. And and out of this group, because I mean, you've been on since what episode five, I think. At this yeah, point, yeah, it's five. Like, yeah, uh, you guys met in El Paso, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. How did you fucking find Vincent? One of the local comics knew he was looking for somebody to shoot a, a reel real quick mm-hmm. of a bunch of impressions that he was doing. Yeah, and no he did shit. a reel for me that first time. You did. You yeah. you you, were, you think you did like uh, Peter Griffin, and you're like, oh, Peter, if you don't yeah. listen to Matt's channel, oh yeah, you suck or something. Yeah, we did a commercial for it. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. 
That's yeah, way I over school. That. It's like five years ago or something. For now. sure. Yeah. Well, it's 2019 now. <laughs> I'm not really good with math. So. <laughs> so it was six years. <laughs> Almost six. Yeah, yeah six, dude. Seven Shit. years ago. <laughs> yeah, 2013. I guess so, yeah. Crazy. That's crazy, man. And both of you guys are over a gajillion followers and all that shit. Like, yeah. out of El Paso. Gajillion. Yeah. yeah. Eh, anything over like a half a million. I mean, it's a gajillion. Yeah. Yeah. Anything I mean, anything 40. over, because I'm not at a million yet, so we can't say gajillion, right? Well, you yeah. had it, though. I had it. I had it. And yeah. you know, it's right. better to have had it than. It's never. better to love and loss and never and love at all. Exactly. Yeah, it is. That's did, fucking stupid. Did Vine, does Vine, <laughs> did Vine send you anything like YouTube does? YouTube sends you a plaque. No, that's the thing. Like with Vine, going back to that, like they never really reached out to the creators. That's much. That's why they had that meeting saying, "Hey, pay us or we'll fucking leave." Like we're responsible for all the traffic that we drive in. But now all the apps are doing, reaching out to creators, sending them to Europe and shit. Like they're reaching out. They're and really sending, yeah, they're taking care them of them. Happy. Vine never did that. Towards the end, there was a trip to Japan, but other than that. Where's the dopest place that somebody's ever sent you for all this shit? Uh, it was actually it's the, the dope. Well, hmm. it was actually funny. The the best campaign I ever had was NASCAR. I did the Daytona 500. With, oh uh, no shit! With Suave. It was fucking dope. Yeah. Oh, you were on the track. I was on the track, dude. That's I, right. I saw that I was on, on the your track. I, I did. The, I did the pace car ride. Yeah. It was fucking cool, man. I had never, cause like I'm not a huge fan of NASCAR, like on TV, but like, in the, in person, fucking. It, it was awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, Wee-hee! I brought it out, man. I was like, come on, man, go. I was just, I was screaming. <laughs> I was, Build the wall. Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, that wall needs to be built. Come on. Just like throwing political <laughs> agenda. Like, yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> nothing. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> no, man. Like, it was fun. It was a blast, dude. It was a blast. I would love to do that shit again, man. Are you Spanish? Are you Latina? Yeah. So I'm half white, half Mexican. Okay. So I, but I, Mexican on the outside, but white on the inside. For oh, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Real white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brethren. No, uh, <laughs> we're all humans. I have a target card. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's funny because like, I touched on this on the podcast or, or at the, the live show. I, I was half, my dad's Mexican, my mom's white, but I grew up with my mom and like her grandparents and stuff. So I can turn on, I can turn on the accent whenever I want to. Like, that's my, my go-to. My, yeah. my my parents are from Kentucky and or my sorry my grandparents are from Kentucky and Texas so I can turn on whenever I want to like it's just my if I hang out there long enough that twine comes back because right now people don't know like you could be just yeah tan. I'm the ethnically ambiguous guy for yes. sure yes because yeah. I, I, I didn't I'm, know I'm, I'm a Filipino if I look to the left you know I had a little bit of Filipino eye a little bit yeah so like people have asked slant. me like have you Asian are you Asian the people when I had long hair like you look like Bruce Lee I was like. Let's just break it. down the racial divide and say it doesn't matter what you are as long as you're my friend, Vincent. Well, oh, wow. Well, Look I at appreciate that. that yeah. But race is, race is what divides us, and that's what makes us great, is race. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 it's racism. Racism is great. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's, not, that's the thing about accents, too. I was going to touch on that, too. Like, it, w- when is an accent racist if it is? I got a question for you guys. Is an is an accent racist if it if it if it is? No, you know I mean? think it plays to a stereotype, but stereotype. I mean, but is yeah, it racist? I, no, right? No, no. no I, don't, I don't think so. If you're wearing a bed sheet over your head, then yes, that's racist, right? But if but if you if like, but what do you know what his accent is? Anybody wearing a clan? Yeah, mask. exactly. Like no, even I, if it was like, hey man, yeah. I'd be like, whoa. Yeah, exactly. So I got I got approached by one of my friends, and uh, he was like, yeah, I was like something about saying the n word, right? And he was like, you can you can say it, you can say it. I was like. What do you mean I can say it? And why are you the authority on if I can say it or not? You know what I mean? Right. But, I, but he's like, oh, yeah, you're not white. I was like, hmm. but wait. Interesting. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like I can get away with it because I'm a minority. So I have that minority struggle so I can share that or some shit. But it was weird. I just don't like people telling me what I can and can't say. You know what I mean? Sure. So did you just say it? Yeah, oh, totally. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped them and bombs like it was here, shame. No, dude. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack in that statement. Yeah. yeah. That's like, I don't know where to start with that. I'm going to no. probably just start walking backwards now. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I did not. I did not end up saying it for sure. But no, it was, he was like, the fact that he gave me permission to was weird. To me, the fact yeah. that he gave me permission. That's and when said, people like wear the badge of moral police. Like, it's okay because you're this. You're yeah, like, exactly. Well, that all is just a giant label that you just yeah, fucking cast on I, me. All yeah. my yeah. shit is like, is, is character based. So when I do this accent, man, when I'm talking like this. And I do this accent, people say, oh, man, you're racist. But I'm like, well, there's a definitely like a lot of people who sound I've like that. I've met like black, Hispanic, and white guys that talk like that. Sure, so man. I don't know yeah, what totally. you're saying so to me. Yeah. W- wouldn't the person that's interpreting that as... Be the racist? Yeah. Wouldn't yeah, they? Because exactly. they're associating with a specific yeah. Yeah. culture like and or race. What about J-Rock on fucking... 
Trailer Park Boys. No one's calling him. <laughs> well, yeah, true. And it's funny because like people are getting a- after everyone for blackface, but then Jordan Peele did whiteface. So like I mean it's just like a double. It's, yeah, you, know, would, you would white chicks the movie. I mean, fucking. A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I think Which it was I thought was fucking hilarious. So I just th- I just think that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terry Crews. Yeah, yeah dude. It's I think great. the take home is you could just make fun of everyone, dude. That's just whoever you are. Just don't just don't have hate in your heart, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, I fucking hate these people. You could just. And that was our last Pinterest meme quote of the day for us. So yep. we'll stop saying <laughs> it that. Is. And, we, and we'll get to the drinking bro of the week. Yeah. You Casey Kasem at all? Casey Kasem. I just do the uh, impression of who does Casey Kasem. There's a famous guy who does Casey Kasem. Who was it? Either way, say it is the drinking bro of the week. Drinking bro. Wait, so what do I. What this is? is the drinking bro of the week. Maybe I don't, I don't know if I'm doing it right. This is the drinking bro of the week. Is that not, <laughs> is that, is that not close? I don't think close. It's, close. Yeah. Who would you like to give it the drinking bro of the week to? Oh, shit. That's right. I have to do that. Right? Yeah, you do. You've yeah. been on here numerous times, Vincent. But I don't think I've given away a drinking bro of the week, have I? I think. Maybe not. I don't think I have. I, I was not. baked out of my fucking mind that last time we were here. True. Oh, so boy. I don't think we followed procedure at all. Like, no, we didn't. I didn't get a picture in front of the drinking bro wow. sign. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I didn't we get will a swipe now. up video. I didn't get Oops. nothing. <laughs> oh, we were just like, all right, where's the food? And then, yeah, it was bad. So what's it? It's, uh, so drinking bro of the week is somebody who inspired you, somebody who helped you up on, on, on the come up, if you will. Well, or somebody I, you looked up to. Okay, well, shit. Uh, drinking, I got drinking bro of the week in my eyes. Let's go. Let's give it to Brandon Rogers. Nice. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah Brandon Rogers. When I was on YouTube, I got on YouTube ten years ago, and I I YouTubed um, impressions, celebrity impressions, and Brandon Rogers was one of the first guys that um, started doing it. There's like a YouTube trend about ten years ago about uh, YouTubers just doing random impressions, and he posted one that was actually kind of funny. And he did characters and accents and stuff, and I was like, oh, I th- I can do that. People have told me I'm funny. I can do that. And so with him is how I do my shit today. So he's my drinking bro of the year. That's life. rad, because he's been yeah. on the show. And yeah. I think I think he's you were there. To on his way tonight. Yeah. <laughs> is he really? Did we yes. introduce you guys? Is Brandon Rogers going to be the show? No. Yeah, I I'm actually excited. I've never met him, him in the flesh. Guys. Oh, he's oh, well, I got he him was. with Jared, yeah. Oh, great. I, I, I'm in touch dude, with Jared. he's one of my favorites. Yeah, he's fucking amazing, dude. His yeah. sketches on YouTube The stuff that he's putting out right now, which you were in the opening episode, and I loved it. Yeah, yeah. Because he's doing long form. It's like a movie that he cut into 15-minute episodes. Yeah. Really? And it's really fucking funny because yeah. it's his style of editing, his style, his whole style of shooting. For 15 shooting. minutes. For 15. Yeah. And he's playing all the characters. Yeah. Like, so he was playing the the gangbanger dude with Vincent. <laughs> And they keep they keep going up against each other. Like, what's up? You want to fight? You want to fucking fight? You want to fight? But they're friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Like, what's, the, what's the name of his series? We'll check uh, it out. Kill the hero. No, blame the hero. Blame, blame the, the hero. hero. Blame the guy's character's name is Blame. B L A M E. That's funny. Yeah, blame the hero. So yeah, that's uh, it's my drinking bro of the week, dude. Shout out Brandon. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to J T and his and his birthday and his sexual. Being, being, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thank yeah. You, thank you, you really had to yeah. force that one out. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, I was like, your sexual, because you looked at him. Yeah, like, he looked yeah. up and down. Yeah, belly yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. You're like, I guess. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oozing, I was like I was oozing sexuality, but no. Nah. Right. Yeah, nah, but yeah. No, Thanks, but listen, guys. you're 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 one of our favorites, man. Uh, we've had you on, fuck, man, too many times to count. Three. Yeah, but I think you guest hosted on a bunch. I like, did with Jr. Right. Yeah. 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 And you were high, so I think we ended up doing like eight shows. Yo, yeah. Well, the last one I was done, dude. I was so stupid. I almost left the podcast last time. That was a crazy one. Wasn't I almost it? left it because you. That th- playmate showed up, and yeah. she had two different color eyes. You lost your shit. Oh yeah. You were like, do you sometimes feel when we're not? I was like, what? What? What happened that day? Oh yeah, you guys, we weren't yeah, we missed it. He accidentally got into some gummies, thinking they were just normal gummies. So they were, they were oh, like those little, uh, those little yes. um, sour onion, sorry, like, sour, like, sour like, onion. like sour, sour, those uh, yeah. green apple peach. Rings. Yeah, yeah, they're the rings, yeah, right? the rings. The rings. And yeah. so they were in this brown bag, and I was, I was like, oh cool, they have snacks. It's like craft services. That's cool. Um, I, I had like maybe two or three of them, and then maybe fifteen minutes later, Jared's like, we should split, let's split one. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. And you, we each grabbed a third of one, and I was like, "What's what, what's happening?" And then he's like, "You were like, dude, I've been eating these all along." And oh, Jared's like, dude. "No, there's yeah. no way you I was like, what's happening? You should only oh. take a third. Yeah. You were like, the panic in your so he, eyes. He, you were like, just dun, and then dun, and then dun, dun, so it's like thirty dun, dun, minutes dun, dun, into the dun, dun, show, and then it sets in. Yeah, yeah I was like, <sighs> that was not well. And then like, yeah, thirty minutes in the show, and then. 
it hit. And we, and there, we had one a playmate point. with two different colored eyes on. She had a. She has naturally one bright blue eye and one, one like orange like, brown. It, it, like a butthole eye where it's just <laughs> super brown and the <laughs> other one was bright green. Or just like an Australian shepherd. Yeah. 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 So, but looking at her and then. She, you know, she wanted to talk about like PTSD and soldiers and all that oh, shit. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just it, you went down a row, right? You looked over I at was, one point. And you yeah, were like, I was. Yeah, I'm gonna go jump out the fucking window like Helen Hunt in an after school special. <laughs> right? I'm done with life, and I'm. You got through it. You were a no, fucking yeah, champ. It was, it was fun. I, the, the one with Jr. was fun too. We we're talking about like the the Wiener Schnitzel yeah. hot dog eat offs or whatever. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> No, but that, that was fun. That was a f- but I got I got super stoned at the very end, and then I couldn't. Dr- I had to drive back to San Diego that night, so I was like, I stayed around for an extra hour and t- talking about was it coming on Buzz Aldrin or something like that? I yeah. forgot we were talking. <laughs> yeah, Jack jacking up on Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll never forget that. Which is still <laughs> still a dream. Fucking, fucking, everything is all. <laughs> I'm looking there, and Ross is like, <laughs> fucking come on Buzz Aldrin, <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> Like, I don't even know if I'm good right now. I don't know what the fuck's happening, dude. But it was great. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, by the way, a drinking bro sent me a signed Buzz Aldrin to the P.O. Box. Uh, yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's in my house. So nice. I'm stoked. <laughs> that, so that, uh, that actually turned into something like later Perfect. on down the road. Because the next time we did a fucked up show like that, we, we talked about jacking off on Buzz Aldrin. Always. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> dude, thanks again, man. Yeah, you're welcome. You're amazing. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Good to see you, For Vincent too. Marcus, Jared Taylor, Matt Best, Evan Hafer, I'm Ross Patterson. <laughs>